Good evening, everybody. In today's video, we are once again gonna dive into the training camp because I believe I've had like a sort of revelation towards uh, this secondary build that I've been uh, working on. If you've been following, then yeah, I'm really utilizing the lightning dragon to kind of counter the uh, wind mixed earth march. And that's really because of the lightning cage here that reduced their normal attacks in the initial 12 seconds. So it really limits the initial burst from Hannibal Alexander as well as in the end games. So once we're in season three and conquest for that matter, we have talents unlocking. And that's where we can really, for instance, with the lightning streak, develop this into uh, applying a bonus uh, for the ultimate skill damage. So that means that uh, both Elizabeth and Himiko would increase, um, yeah, deal increased damage towards the enemy mortals. But I just here the other day came across um, Baldwin and kind of like looked a bit further into his ultimate skill, and that just led me to kind of testing him out a little bit, and I just saw crazy results. So to start off, then his hurricane, like I've always considered Baldwin as a main damage dealer in the, in the march, right? But I just uh, realized that his tornadoes, you know, increase the magical damage the target receives by 30%. And then it can split up. And then, so with his, if we take a look here, this is a bit hard to grasp, but it's just like with the silver mask of Baldwin here, Hurricane now only deals 500% uh, damage, but the chance of the tornado splitting is increased by 25%, meaning that that's 100% chance for splitting for the first split, and then 50% chance for the second split. Now, what this means is that we are guaranteed three targets to be affected by this initial magical damage received. And then from then on, and this is where it gets crazy, there's a 50% chance of these two extra hurricanes splitting once again. And this means that the three targets could, in theory, become seven targets. So it's really a lot of damage for one. But more importantly is that there's a good chance that every, like all the targets, gets the debuff, as well as at least one and maybe up to three additional targets would get a double debuff. And I saw this, that this applies. So that means that some targets, there's a chance that they take 60% increased damage. If you can manage for Baldwin to land his hurricane, it splits up five to seven times additionally. And Himiko then lands her ultimate skill, which is crazy. You deal so much damage, as well as you can have Spell Disintegrator annihilating hitting at the same time because these are also magical damage. So this was just like, I was thinking this and all right, fair enough, worth a shot. And then as I tested a few rounds, and this is what I'm going to show you, it's actually bad shit crazy. So now the thing with the Earth Dragon, and we are not running any protective, um, like to protect ourselves uh, from stun lock. So there is a good chance of still really getting postponed on the initial damage. So now you can see both Himiko and Baldwin are stunned. Let's see if Baldwin lands his Hurricane. Uh, so there was a stun that applied, but you can see they got debuffs three of the units here. And they landed Himiko, so yeah, it's hard to say. There was really some uh, stun lock mechanism going on here, so no damage got applied. Now the tornadoes came, and then let's see the... There we go. That was Himiko's damage applying. And once again, Baldwin applying some hurricane debuffs. And there comes Himiko's ultimate. It's just consistently really a lot of damage being output. And actually, yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention this. Um, what we're testing right now is kind of like I'm running tier five units on this troop versus my mixed is tier six. We're even a tire lower than them. And this is just, again, something I've been doing to test because, yeah, 
training camp is known to be kind of unreliable it's a bit screwed sometimes so i always test in like a worst scenario but just look at the damage here it's so much so if we try for instance and even make it what is on paper a fair fight so we go in and put our range units up to tier 6 then we just try once more and also even look at the dragon i don't even i have lightning streak at level one because i don't want like i've seen that the damage uh, of the dragons here in training camp is like quite high and there's something with the true damage that's really being true true damage um but yeah let's try have a look here now so and also there's just a chance that of these hurricane splitting seven times and not getting stun luck that's just where you kill the opponent <clears throat> so let's see did the debuff at least land because he got stun locked again now debuff landing let's see himiko throwing ultimate let's go boom look at Sinobia's health so i'm pretty sure she got a double debuff and that's just what the results are Sinobia pretty much like died in the first round and there comes the second boom look at the difference <laughs> oh this is stupid this is a really strong mixed wind earth i've set this up against um if you, like, yeah, if you don't believe you try look that we are running pretty decent and we're running the good skills i mean artifact here 15 same here we do have the magical defense i'm not happy with this one but hey still good artifacts class almost up there dragon 10 10 10 so i mean this build really works and what i just need to point out is the importance of bold winds um, he needs to have either energy burst or adrenaline rush if not um, him and him could simply uh, kind of cast their spells at the same time and then it doesn't work and they will get stuck in that same loop of never landing the hurricanes before Himiko's um, demon ambush so it's just important that you do run in my case in this build I'm running energy burst on him because I do crit here and then and I just need one crit before Himiko um, and more importantly it's because I really run adrenaline rush on uh, Charles um, so yeah, still this build could be way stronger with set up, like I'm running something like after image. Um yeah. Running assist just to provide more support for Himiko, but it's again it also comes from that I have a lot of my what I would consider my primary um skills uh, allocated to my mixed wind earth, like because I'm not running Oaken Guard, which is crucial running against a physical uh, damage dealing march like the Hannibal and Alexander but I'm not even running that on this one and still sorry the term here but beating the shit out of it so I mean there you have it guys this is definitely one of the strongest marches uh, I've managed to build so far and I've tested a lot so follow along as we uh, try to build this one into season 3 I think like and subscribe guys see you around bye bye